Okay. Um, they are very. In my opinion, NATO is currently. Planning to invade Kalin and Grad. Uh, using the exercises it's conducting as cover. Uh, Russia just. Uh, <coughs> Uh, announced is uh, and well, this amounts nuclear exercises. Um, where we are, um, like it's a hair's bit. Uh, as breaths away from a nuclear event. Um, NATO could say there could be a false flag event. You know how uh, you know how they're saying Russia's blocking GPS in the Baltic. And there could be a false flag where some airliner uh, gets hit or I don't know, gets downed, a false flag, I believe. And then the NATO says, oh, look, we have to go in Kaliningrad and sort this out, there being a problem. And then um, the Russians, I believe, you know, the Russians may retaliate with nuclear strikes in Poland and Romania, it's possible, as a, on logistics, and as a warning, I think. Uh, but we are so close to this happening and the public is not aware of it. And, uh, you know, I've been having a lot of fantasies about nuclear explosions. <laughs> <laughs> I keep on constantly thinking about it, fantasizing about it. I, I don't know. It's just like I think we, I think we're really close. We're really um, that close to. Uh, uh, well, you know, if if the warning isn't heeded, the nuclear strikes, the initial strikes, then if the NATO decides to respond, you know. Then we're going to he head to a uh, non-strategic nuclear exchange, which means uh, there will be nuclear strikes in Europe and then maybe Russia. And if it all depends on how those things ha unfold. Yeah. Um, there is some. Um, yeah, so we're like that close to a nuclear war, and um, you know these um, the West they're not they 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 just I think they're being manipulated. <laughs> this is stupid, but uh, uh anyway. Uh, we have to find all these things. things. Oh, there is. Oh, here is a good, a good summary of how that uh, will go. How, how you know if if uh how a uh, oh there's some 
something else. Uh -huh. Huh. Uh, oh man, anyway, so yeah, we are really close to a nuclear Armageddon, and here is uh, the we're dealing with. I don't agree with the image, I don't think, anyway, here is sort of illustrates the what's at stake like uh, the, the the whole the future of the world uh, um, oh not illustrate uh, a good summary of what's at stake the west wants to con the west wants to control the planet they want to take out Russia. If Russia goes down, China will be contained and they can dominate the planet. So, so Russia is standing in the way of their complete domination of the planet. Uh, and, you know, I guess most people in the West just don't care because they, don't, they think this is not going to affect them, that they think they're the good guys. Um, Oh, anyway, <laughs> I th I don't think they're the good guys. Um, I think I think I think the Dimitri, I think here is another summary of who the, the the West. The people are not bad guys, but the the leaders in the West, the uh, cabal, the uh, what you would call the um, elite, the Whatever I'll call them the, um, the the bankers and the the, the owners of the military the the the, the, the rich people <laughs> they are like uh, bandits. Uh, okay. Oh, here's a summary. This is what Medvedev says in the link. It, Our former World War II allies are enthusiastically feeding, arming, and mentoring new Nazis whose goal is to wipe Russia off the map and make the whole world live according to bandit notions. Forgetting the postulates of international law. So he says he calls it bandit notions because these guys are interested in resources. They want to control the planet. And that's why they want to get remove Russia. So the stakes are very high. Uh, bandit. Bandit. <laughs> uh, elites. Uh, oh. Yeah, so th that's what. The, so this is a huge. There's a whole. There's a lot at stake here, and a lot of people don't are not paying attention. Anyway, it's pretty bad. 